Imagine a country where the desert covers 95% of it. All around, there is nothing but slow moving dunes with the highest going up to 820 feet. It receives an annual rainfall of only four inches and usually has a very dry climate. If you guess Saudi Arabia, you're right. Saudi Arabia is one of the hottest countries in the world with temperatures going up to 55 degrees Celsius or 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Although only 2% of the land is suitable for agriculture, it is still home to 16 million residents and 9 million immigrants. Hey guys, welcome to Peak Luxury. Saudi Arabia is an oil-rich country and it has been using oil money to import food products. Almost 8% of food products were imported before 1980, but due to serious government reforms, it fulfilled not only its own demands, but also the largest exporters of wheat in the world. Saudi Arabia started reforms in the field of agriculture in 1970 in order to make food supply more sustainable. The wheat producing area increased from 1.5 million in 1980 to 4.2 million in 1995. This all happened because of the great reforms of the government in the second half of the 20th century. The government launched a program to promote modern farming techniques and technologies. The focus was given to agricultural research in the universities. It transformed 24,000 square kilometers of desert into agricultural land. The government imposed higher tariffs on imported wheat and facilitated local farmers by giving them subsidized fertilizers and farming technologies. Everything seems too good to be true, right? Well, it is true, but it has some drawbacks as well. According to research, the current supply of underground water will be finished by 2050. The kingdom has started working on a plan called the Vision 2030, which is notably centered around economic diversification, cultural and tourist development, as well as the preservation of the environment. Apart from other major plans for the country, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has decided to stop its wheat production. It will only grow plants and vegetables through a special technique called the center pivot irrigation system. In the mid 20th century, Nebraska farmer Frank Zybach invented center point irrigation and transformed the agricultural production worldwide. It helped the Saudis greatly because they could now grow large quantity agricultural products with minimum water supply. As the name suggests, the center pivots irrigate with a circular pattern in the center of the pivot. Pivots are able to use water, fertilization, chemicals, and pesticides. This variety can improve the efficiency of irrigation systems by using a single piece of machine to perform several tasks. Some 10,000 years ago, Saudi Arabia was a land of lush greenlands and valleys with torrential monsoon rains. Engineers, through the marvels of engineering, can now dig that water that is trapped down in the earth about one kilometer depth. The country uses this water for agricultural purposes and provides the government with desired outcomes. Over the last 24 years, it has tapped hidden water reserves to grow wheat and other crops in the Syrian desert. Though this has helped the country's irrigation to boost, it is nevertheless a limited supply. And for crops like wheat, which require lots of water, even a huge water supply is inefficient. The country has little to no rainfall and no running rivers, so the groundwater supply irrigates all crops. It is estimated that Saudi Arabia has used almost two-thirds of the water supply that was in the ground. Nonetheless, it has greatly helped the country's road towards a greener Saudi Arabia. Al Beda was a project started by the kingdom to conserve food water that was going to the sea as waste. The government built dams and reservoirs for the food water that was almost going to waste. As there is little to no rain in Saudi Arabia, water conservation is as necessary as anything else. This project greatly helped in trapping food water. If this project is completed and the entire west coast is covered, then 30 million acres of land could be converted into agricultural lands. In order to fulfill its food demands, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia also bought lands in other countries like the United States, Indonesia, Africa, and a few more. Saudi Arabia is one of the largest countries in the world. The country has one of the highest water consumptions in the world, providing more drinking water resources and the kingdom's growing population and industry has been a major issue in the country. The country has been relying on desalinated water since the 1950s. It has become the leading desalinated water producer in the world. Moreover, it has the largest overall desalination plant in the world 
in its east coast city of Jubail. It has an output capacity of 1.4 million per day. Since the demand is annually increasing up to 7 to 8 percent, it is not enough to be able to provide for future demand. The country is trying its best to take measures to reduce consumption by increasing efficiency, eliminating waste, and ending unsuitable practices. The use of groundwater to irrigate crops began in the 1970s had a huge impact on Saudi's aquifers. It actually set the country on an unsustainable path. This made the Saudi government make some major decisions. They ended subsidies in 2016 for water-intensive crops in order to stop and discourage agricultural water use. Now, the country imports most of its food, but permanently stopped agricultural production, especially wheat and grain. In the Let's Make It Green campaign, more than 10 million trees have been planted across all regions of Saudi Arabia during the six months. It is expected that by 2030, 450 million trees will be planted across Saudi Arabia under the Saudi Green Initiative. Above all, the restoration of the vegetation cover, which has been drastically reduced in recent years, would benefit the locals. Dust storms would be contained by the vegetation. In addition, support for the reforestation efforts in drylands could attract a lot of investments and provide many job opportunities. Greening Saudi Arabia's landscapes would boost sustainable tourism and encourage agricultural cultivation and restoration of biodiversity. Saudi Arabia was once a lush green valley thousands of years ago. Now through the government's constant efforts for the past 50 years, Saudi Arabia is slowly turning green again. In 2019, arable land for Saudi Arabia was 3,441,000 hectares. The arable land of Saudi Arabia increased from 1,360,000 hectares in 1970 to 3,441,000 hectares in 2019, growing at an average annual rate of 1.97%. This means the country will have a more stable food supply chain. It is also said that the Arabian Peninsula will become uninhabited by the end of the 21st century. This raises major concerns for the people of the Arabian Peninsula. Saudi Arabia is an oil-rich country. Most of its income comes from selling oil to the world. The current oil reserves in the country will last about 50 years at this consumption rate. Also, the world is going towards a greener and eco-friendly renewable energy source. This means more use of solar and wind energy and little use of fossil energy such as oil. Saudi Arabia has to cope with this problem. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is now looking for other means to fuel its economy besides oil. Therefore, it is focusing on a greener Saudi Arabia, which will result in low weather temperatures and a clean green environment. Saudi Arabia is looking to boost its economy through tourism, building many attractive tourist spots in the country. Water supply might be a problem for the country, but the leader's determination has brought the country to a much better place than it was in the 1950s. Many countries are still struggling with the water crisis, but through proper planning, Saudi Arabia has almost overcome this problem. It has the largest desalination plant in the world, and its wastewater treatment plants are state-of-the-art. Saudi Arabia has a goal of 100% water recycling on its road towards its goal. It's not that far, and Saudi Arabia will again be a lush green country with most of its deserts turned into farmlands. We're glad the Saudi government took such actions to improve the country and environment. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below with other projects that are helping better the environment. We would love to know. Make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe for more similar videos in the future. We'll see you next time.